Today I'll show you how to create a shake effect and save it for future use. So here I have two pictures on my timeline side by side. Nothing complex. I will add an adjustment layer. Place it at the top of first layer. Trim this to keep it clean. Put a transform effect to it. Then put a slider control effect to it. Rename it. Alt click the position stopwatch to enter into coding area. Here type this simple code. Attach the code to shake effect, so the code will trigger soon as you change shake's value. Add a scale keyframe. Move it forward, go a bit further, and increase the value to add another keyframe. Easy ease both keyframes. Go to the graph editor. Here make sure you are under the value graph not the speed graph. Make a curve like this. It indicates that the image will zoom from first keyframe to second keyframe. Now to cover the black areas around corners, put a CC Repertile effect to it. Set it to unfold, put 300 in all values. Copy paste Repertile effect to your second image as well. Now add keyframes to the shake effect. Go forward and increase the value to add another keyframe. Let's quickly enable motion blur by unchecking this button, and increase the shutter angle value. Now edit the graph editor for shake keyframes. You can increase the value to add more shake. Nice. Now duplicate the adjustment layer. Put it above the second image. Now simply just swap the keyframes to inverse the effect. And edit the graph editor like this. It is as simple as that. You can also save it as a preset, so you don't have to recreate it in future. Select the first adjustment layer. Highlight these two effects. Then go to animation menu and click save animation preset. Save it anywhere on your computer. I'll give it a name shakeout. Similarly do the same for the second layer. Highlight these two effects. Then go to animation menu and click save animation preset. This time I'll give it a name shake in. Now put your two saved presets in a folder. Then copy that folder. And paste it under preset installation folder mentioned above. Go back to Adobe After Effects. Refresh the preset list. Your presets should appear as you search their names. Let's try applying them. I'll create an adjustment layer like before. And put the shakeout effect on this. Match and place it respective to your image layer. Add another adjustment layer, put a shake in effect on this, and match the layers. And here you go. See you soon.